Hello out there, I'm uh, Keith Barron, the Chairman and CEO of Iranian Resources Limited, and this is Richard Spencer, the President of the company, uh, and we're here today to talk about our project uh, down in Southeast Ecuador, the uh, Kurdiku Lost Cities project. I guess um, just to start off with, what, what were your impressions of how things are going in the field? The fundamentally important thing that's come out of the geophysics is the identification of a, a big um, batholith, a big group of, of, of granites in the core of the, of the belt. Um, and the significance of that is uh, obviously the Samora batholith, which is this, this group of, of gran granitic bodies in the southern area where all those discoveries were made. That is fundamentally important to, to the development of those deposits. I mean, it's, 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 it's that granite that generated the fluids, that, that generated the porphyries and, and the epithermal deposits like uh, Fruta del Norte. And the belt that we're exploring uh, contiguous to that, there was no granitic core known until we flew this geophysics survey. And, and, and the geophysics is indicating that there is a core there um, and the guys in the field are starting to, to see evidence of, of, of those, uh, those granites that are the, the hot um, fundamental driving force of, of, of the development of the deposits. So um, it, that's, that's a hugely important uh, step that's, uh, or factor that's come out of the geophysics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, I certainly agree. Uh, the um, the batholith to the south, which is known as the Zamora batholith, has been age dated as well as the porphyries. Uh, the copper porphyries uh, uh, on top of it, and it's more or less um, decided that the uh, batholith was actually the feeder uh, for a lot of these porphyries. Now, down in that area, of course, the area has been a lot more stripped off by erosion, uh, the volcanics uh, that were also coming out of the, well, origin out of the batholith at depth. The batholith is like a great big pool, you can uh, imagine, of, of, of uh, magma. Um, of lava which is underneath the ground uh, which is solidified and, and has formed granite and so that's really been the feeder zone for all these different things that have happened on top both the volcanics and the porphyry deposits and down the south most of that stuff has been stripped away by erosion so the granite is is visible right on surface and, and quite extensive uh, where we are uh, it's not on surface uh, and, uh, and that's not necessarily a, a bad thing because um, as I was talking about uh, with the government uh, just very recently, down in the south there are a lot of gold alluvials in the streams, in the rivers, in the streams, in the creeks, pretty much every area uh, around the Zamora Batholith contains gold. Now uh, I believe that the reason for that is because the volcanics that were carrying epithermal deposits have largely been stripped away by erosion. So there's no trace of them left now, except for the gold. The gold, as we know, is almost indestructible, so it's showing up in the streams. That's the only relic of these old epithermal systems. The ones that have survived, like Fruta del Norte, are lying in uh, these things called pull-apart basins or, or grabens, and these are areas that uh, um, have um, subsided along faults, uh, great big uh, through going strike slip faults. Uh, they go for a uh, considerable distance, 50, 60 Ks, 100 Ks in some cases, and they have these uh, fault basins uh, uh, along them. Um, somebody was asking me, you know, what's a good analogy for a fault basin? Uh, the Dead Sea in Israel that everyone knows about, which is way below sea level, uh, that's one of these pull-apart basins and it's subsided way below the sea level and of course it's full of, 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 of very, very saline brine. Um, but over geological time and other places, uh, these places have become a nuclei for volcanic events, for geothermal systems, and in lots of other places around the world uh, you find uh, geothermal areas sitting right in the basin or on the edges, especially in places like New Zealand. 